Welcome to Darping. Hello. Uh, uh, oh. Interrupt my zombie noise. <laughs> this is Zarping. <laughs> Zarping. Zarping. That was my impression of our intro. It was a mighty good impression. If you haven't um, figured it out yet, well, I, I kind of expect the people listening to this, you know. Yeah, they're intelligent people. <laughs> yep, they're intelligent. You are intelligent. Uh, this is Zarping. And, welcome uh, back. Welcome back. And to those of you who didn't watch our last one, shame on you. Go watch it now. Now. Pause it now. Go back and watch it. Go back and watch it and tell your friends. All right. of them. All, All of them. Every every 4,000 of them. Yeah. Um, but anyway, this is Zarping. It's hmm. zombie action role playing, except not really action or role playing. We just like the name Zarping. We, yeah. we may as well call it Zed. <laughs> zombie. Zombie. All right. <laughs> Let's get down to business. I we had to go through our last video and like because this this we haven't done this for such a long time, and we had to um, find out you know painstakingly listen to it past took me so long. Oh, anyway, anyway, so effing long right now. Stop moaning. Anyway, right. um, so the first thing is first, right? If there is a woman, right? <laughs> I think I've done this with you before. If there, right. I just wanted to know because you didn't actually give me a straight answer. There's a woman, right? Yeah. Um, everything is perfect. She has yeah. nice, pert breasts. Yes. You know, perfectly round. Double. Why D's. are we talking about this on Zarping? Double D's or something. All right, it's a zombie girl. Okay. All right, zombie girl. All right, better. Imagine hypothetically, you love necrophilia, right? All right. Anyway, so there's there's this uh, perfectly preserved zombie girl. Yep. She's got like nice, nice uh, breasts, double D's or something. I don't know. She's got what? What sort of hair do you look for? You know, color. Brunette. Brunette. Yep. Yeah. Well, she's blonde. Um. Everything. You know, everything's perfect. Apart from you see this. Uh, you see her vagina, right? There's no way to go around it, and it it's wrecked. Absolutely <laughs> wrecked. I mean. Some black guy must have gone there. Gone there <laughs> because it is, it is That's trying to be racist. No, what? How can it be racist? <laughs> I'm sorry, all black people, for saying you have humongous penises. Anyway, yeah, carry on. If that's not racist, I don't know what your Skype thing is, you know? Oh, yeah, true. <laughs> I would say it, but I don't swear that much. Just jump to say no, 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 because you can't, you, you can't say that on Zarping. This is a family thing. Oh, right, Obviously, right. seeing as we're talking about vaginas <laughs> and big black penises. <laughs> anyway, yeah, carry on with your So you've episode. got her, and the other one is, she's completely zombified. Everything, everything is, like, zombified. But, you know, she didn't do, do too well in her social life, and... She, this zombie is obviously still a virgin, you know. Her vagina is perfect. It's a vision of perfectness. Who would you go for? You know. Um, neither, because they're zombies. You no, know, because hypothetically, you're a necrophiliac. Um, you you've got me in a tight spot here. You're, you're the one who made me do this. It would just be normal people. Then you said, but this is zombies. <laughs> so you've got this you've got this one girl who you could probably climb inside. <laughs> and Emily. This other one that makes it look like a crack in the wall. Um I, can we can we get on zapping and I'll answer this at a later date. Fair enough. Um All right, that, was our, that was our um Question our, of the Week. Question of the Week Month or Ask your, ask your friends the exact same question. See what they say. Yep. All right, so... But first tell them about zarping. Right, what? But first tell them about zarping. Tell them about... Yeah, tell them about zarping and then ask them the question. 
and then say you can see those more of these types of questions on Zarfing. And we yes. shall be happy. Out. Right. So do you want to go first? You were in uh, Norton, Norton, uh, Midsummer Norton. Library in the children's section. Half the people wouldn't know what Midsummer Norton is. Imagine the uh, scum of the earth. <laughs> the scum of the earth. You, you got you got chavs effing and jeffing, left, right, and centre, tripping Ooh. over their trousers around their ankles. And eight fast food restaurants. Yes, and and uh, an insurance eight. company above Norton Fried Chicken. <laughs> Yeah, to insure the chicken. That must be quite a nice place to, to like, work, actually. Because you yeah. just, like, sit there typing in your insurance. I don't know what insurance people do. Probably, you know, scam people off their money. If anyone is an insurer here, I'm sorry, okay? My granddad was in work there. Really? Yeah, it's where he worked. Oh, fair enough. Um, you have offended my family. That was my impression of Don, Cow, 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 Cow whatever his name is. Yes, sir. This is very easy, sir. <laughs> in joke, right. that's an in joke. But you you sit there all day and you smell all this fried chicken. You'd probably Back be able to, to, you'd Stop probably be able to see the battery chickens. But anyway, you're right. Okay, so you were in Midsummer Norton Library. It's nice yes. and warm. Um, you, you're in the children's area. There's like a big bag. There's a big pile of bean bags and yeah, books right. strewn about. You know. And I've burnt snot. lots of Shakespeare it, to keep it warm. <laughs> You've burnt lots of Shakespeare. All this snot is like sandwiching the books together. I've um, burnt the world supply of Shakespeare. Some, uh, some pedophiles, you know, he's jizzed in one of the books. Um, <laughs> all right. Or kiddies books. And you wake up to the smell of burnt Shakespeare. Uh, ah, splendid smell. You can't see anything around. You killed the last two zombies in Norton. I did. Um... Last, uh, yesterday, well, yeah, preferably, we'll, we'll, we'll yeah, pre preferably, yes. You, you would live there, but unfortunately, all the chavs have scarpered off with all the food. So oh. You can't live there, so you're just sitting there. Um, well, what, what, what are you gonna do? Well, well, first... before you do that, this small Asian child jumps out and says, You call him Dr. Jones, Mrs. <laughs> you call him Dr. Jones. All right. I chuck him on my Shakespeare fire because <laughs> I didn't really want him to be there. He, you just shove him in a pile of ashes and he goes, hey, you, stop that. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever they say, I don't know. <laughs> Alright, is, is he like now my accomplice? He is now your accomplice. You, okay, I have, He's stuck I have, with you. I have the little kid off of Indiana Jones. If you, if you try to escape from him, he shall tear <laughs> out your anus. I have spent it. Yes. <laughs> what you do? Alright, right. I, I, I put him on a leash. Because I don't want him running off now. Now that, that is racist. <laughs> no, it's not. I'm simply putting someone on a leash. If there's any small Asian children called Short Round who was on Indiana Jones, I'm sorry. <laughs> I have put you on a leash. You are now mine. <laughs> I'm keeping you. Okay, so what do you do? Alright, well, I, are the buses still running? No. Why would. Why would the buses still be running? It's a zombie apocalypse. Think about these things. Great British public transport system. <laughs> no, there isn't any rush, uh, buses, but there is a cup of tea. Ooh, splendid. I'll drink that. <laughs> that makes you happy. All right. <laughs> I, I drink that. Um, any biscuits? Um, no. Oh. <laughs> There's half a zombie finger if you want that. <laughs> right, I'll, I'll put it in my inventory sack. Okay, you've got half a zombie. What else have you got in your inventory sack? Um, a Spitfire. Oh, no, yeah, you've got, like, a Spitfire model, a modelling knife, a glue gun, and a bread knife. Yeah. Right. All right, what I do is I go outside, and there's always the, um, musset. In, in the middle of Norton, there's always some old woman going up and down on a mobility scooter. You always. You killed her last time, didn't you? Or I, I, I get on a you, did. you like kicked out her Zimmer frame or something. I don't know. Yeah, I get on a mobility scooter and I just rev it and I drive off to into the sunset. You drive uh, off with your uh, your boombox on your shoulder. Yeah, I hit you the some, face. You drive through some uh, urban area with your boombox playing loud. Peace down. I'm driving through Peace down. We're in here saying. Uh, He's obviously trying to make up for something. That's me. I just heard you outside. You hear that noise? That's you. Alright. 
Uh, anyway, I'm driving. Get off my lawn! Uh, I'm driving oh. through peas down. Oh, I think someone heard me. I'm driving through peas down over this like revved up mobility scooter. What's gonna happen? All right, so you you got from Norton to peas down, which is another. It's only like two miles, three miles. On a mobility scooter. How yeah. long does that take? <laughs> they can go quite fast. My friend's got one. Really? Yeah. Is she like eighty or something? He no, it is his nan died and so, left. so she so she gave him a mobility scooter. Yeah. Oh happy days. Yeah. And anyway, I got to pee down and I run out of battery, so what happens now? Okay. Well you're in the middle of peas down, right? And Which bit? In the middle of peas down. Old bit, new bit. In the middle of peas down. The one, the one piece down. You're in the middle of it. All right. All right, and um, instead of zombies, this piece down has not been zombified at all. Because of all the you chats. You got something worse. You got gangsters. something much worse. Yes, you've got gangsters. You've got. Oh, you've got no. little little six year old gangsters biting at your toe nails. How many of them is there, and where are they? Twenty. They're everywhere. Twenty. They're in the shadows. <laughs> Like, what I do is... You were there, man. You would know. What I do is, I get out my um, my glue gun. Right. And I draw a circle around me with the glue gun. And then I, I suddenly... Sea bears. <laughs> yeah. And I suddenly shut up. Pees down his shit in it. And they all come running at me. They stick um, to the glue, do they? Yeah, they all stick to the glue. Do you, like, smack them around the face with your half a zombie finger? <laughs> no, no, no. They're all now kept up. A yard and a bit pace, so they they can reach for me, but they can't quite get me. All right, well they're they're completely surrounding you. How are you gonna get out? What I do is, I get like my bread knife, and I just carve away at one of them. <laughs> just quite, violent. <laughs> this is a, this is a zombie thing. I can't like not be not violent. These aren't zombies though. These are just ordinary, innocent, gangster, old woman killing. Child molesting. Yeah. Throwing <laughs> snowballs at my bus when I'm trying to get home. Baber uh, raping. Children. Yeah, it, you can't kill them. You know, there's I, nothing I can't. I just. I, I cut one of them in half. That gives me enough room to walk through. Do you take uh, half of its body? <laughs> no, I, I leave it. No, no, literally straight down the middle. Like from head to like groin, like straight down through the middle of the nose, middle of the mouth. You gonna right. you gonna salvage anything from this little? All right, I, I searched his pocket. Is there anything in there? Mm, half a piece of chewing gum. I'll take that. Used. Oh, I'll, I'll still take it. Uh, a paper clip. Ooh, I, I'd especially take that. An elast elastic band. Take that. And a bobby pin. And a what? A bobby pin. Oh, I'll take that as well. Do you know what a bobby pin is? It is. It's like a hairpin. No, I didn't. I didn't think you'd know what that is because you were like, yeah, what? Now, if you were MacGyver, you'd be able to, like, survive this zombie infestation with just those things. Make an aeroplane or something. Oh, wait, no. You can't do that, can you? Because the sky is littered with Portuguese. <laughs> yeah, damn those. Every time we're going to say something insulting about someone, we have to say, I'm sorry all the Portuguese that fly planes. Yeah. I'm sorry that you can't fly planes. Yeah. Max can. I can. Lark at him. Zarp at him. And his, uh... You can't fly a plane though, can you? Only little ones. Not yeah, I, Boeing. I, I'm, I'm learning at the moment. So you, you're a learner, little plane driver. I am. Ugh. Oh, okay. Alright. Well, if, if you could actually find a little plane, you could probably set off, but... But the guys for the Portuguese. Yeah, the Portuguese have taken them all. I, right. I go in the co-op. Is there anything in there? Are you sure you want to go in the co-op first? Yeah, I'm going to co-op. Yeah, but there's like a Tesco's and a charity shop. I'm going to co-op Can we actually say Tesco's and co-op on this? Yeah, easily. Yeah, but can we get in like copyright? Tesco co-op, Tesco co-op, Tesco co-op. If any sort of Tesco or co-op employee is watching. <laughs> oh, they probably hate their job anyway, so. Yeah. Anyway, um, I go in there. Is my I know a friend who works in there. Is he in there? No. I don't know who you're talking about, so I wouldn't know whether he's in there or not. Ah. Uh. See, if you were in Tesco's, I'd be able to tell you, but you didn't oh, go there, so did you? Do they still have the pick-and-mix thing in the, the co-op in Peasdown? Pick-and-mix thing? 
Did you used to have a Bicker Mix thing. Is that like, um, you got all the little cupboard sort of things? Yeah, there's loads of sweets. And then you get loads of people shoving their hands in. Yeah. They've probably just, you know, defecated on. So what 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 shoved, is there? Shoved up their own mother's what, arses. What is there in the cup? <laughs> There's some defecate mother arsey pick and mix that doesn't exist. You can have some non-existent defecate pick and mix. <laughs> All right, I take the pick and mix. No, it you say it by its real name. All right, I take the non-existent defecate mother's arsey pick and mix. <laughs> there we go. Is there anything else in there? Um, apart from some urine-covered newspapers now. What type of newspaper? Urine-covered. <laughs> Which one? Like, The Sun, Daily Mail? Can we really say The Sun and Daily Mail on this? Sun, Daily Mail, Sun, Daily Mail, Sun, Daily Mail, yes. See, I would say they probably hate their jobs, but they probably don't because they get paid a lot. Uh, they do. Alright, well, there's there's the, uh, the ZARP Daily in there. I'll take the Zarp daily. See, you'd think it would tell you everything about zombies and how to survive, but... <laughs> no. <laughs> but it's, it actually, it's actually about zebras acting. Really, 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 really <laughs> pathetically ingloriously. <laughs> yeah, that, that's what that newspaper is. Yeah, so you could read that if you want. <laughs> I've got <laughs> zebras <laughs> acting petunias weekly. Acting <laughs> petunias. That's Zapwa. That's not zarping at all. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Zebra's acting pet Petunia Weekly. I don't care. <laughs> I'm, I'm going with it. Okay, well, you take the Zebra's acting Petunia Weekly and leave. Yeah, I, um, I then go to like, the big park. Big park? Like, the big playing field. Which one? You got, like, two. The one, like, opposite where your house is. Ah, the wreck. Yeah. See, it's funny because it's a wreck. Ha! <laughs> and it's called the recreational ground, so it's called the wreck. I, I go under, like... Is there anyone... Is there any zombies in there? Uh, football playing zombies, yeah. Ooh. And a few weed-smoking, sex-having zombies as well. Alright, what I do is... I... Grab their ball, and I kick it. <laughs> yeah. And then I kick it like over the fence so they all run into the road. And so then they're no longer a problem. Except they've just blocked your path out. Oh, they're all in the road, it's fine. I don't... You know, oh. they were in the road and then you accidentally threw their uh, threw their ball into a passing teenager. And a passing chav. <clears throat> when the little chavs you you tried to glue to the floor, they they took their shoes off. Oh, and they took it and ran off with it. So now all the zombies are like covering the entrance. What have you actually done anything with the short round? Have you? With the what? Short round. What are you talking about? Short round. Short round. The little Asian kid on a leash. Oh um, yeah. All right. What I do is. <laughs> did you just forget about him? <laughs> I did. How could you forget about him? First you're <laughs> acting racistly against him. Now you forget about him. Because he's on my leash. All right. What I do is. I get him. Does, does I search his pockets? Does he have anything? Who? Short round. No, he's short round. Why would he have anything? <laughs> All right. Why do I, I go? Um. Oi, Mister! Stop. <laughs> stop! I can't. I can't do it. I can't do it without acting extremely racist. Do it anyway. <laughs> no. God. Hey, what? What? What's he saying in uh, English accent? He's saying, Oi, mister. <laughs> yeah. Get your goddamn hands off my mother, you junk. Oh. Uh, well, <laughs> what I do then is, I take off his leash, and because he's like a dog, he starts running really quickly in the opposite direction to which he wa I want him to go. He's nothing like a dog. He's short round. He'll stay <laughs> with you for life. Oh, damn it. Short round is not just for Christmas, it's for life. <laughs> Alright, so I'll, I'll strut up to the zombies playing, like, in the road. And, because this is peas down, obviously, I just start stabbing them. With what? My scalpel. Modelling knife? Yeah. Fair enough. I stab at them, and I, I kill, like, half of them with my knife. And then one of them eats it. Oh, damn it! <laughs> You've lost a knife. Ah. Oh. 
but your zombie half a zombie thing half a zombie finger moves into the hot bar. I get that. I just start slapping them with it. Does that kill any of them? No. Uh. It's just really funny to watch. <laughs> <laughs> That's nasty. Because I know what else you try to symbolise with that noise. Oh. <laughs> Oh, nasty, nasty. All right. Do I do? They pick up short round by his feet and just, <laughs> <laughs> they just smack him along their faces, and all their heads explode. All right. Incidentally, so do short rounds. <laughs> all right. All right. I, I search all of their pockets and selves. What do they have? Nothing. Absolutely nothing. They're playing football. Why would they bring anything? The MP's done. I thought they had like an Uzi or something. <laughs> Yeah, they have an Uzi in their big toe. <laughs> oh, alright. I take one of their big toes. That was a lie, Max. I'm Damn bsing. it! I'm BSing you. Alright. Uh, what were the weed-smoking zombies? What have they done? Uh, they're still weed-smoking and having sex. Have they seen me yet? Uh, they're too busy weed-smoking and having sex. Alright, all right, as I pick up shorts. Look at this. Tell me what you think. Top picture. <laughs> this is what you look like. Huh? What? The Skype. Go on Skype. And then look at the link I just sent you. Alright. Can we put this in the description of the video so people know what we're talking about? I'm sure we will. <laughs> oh. <laughs> that is you. That is what you oh. look like. Alright. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so what I then do is I pick up Short Round's carcass <laughs> and then I put How do my you keep anything in your pockets by this picture? Obviously <laughs> there's obviously there's like something in between your legs, but <laughs> <laughs> Alright. That's nasty. I, I then stab my like the handle end of my bread knife into Short Round's spine. So I now have like a long sword. Well, how does that work? It's zarping, it doesn't have to work. It made sense in my mind. In my mind. Anyway, so I now have this sword, and I just run at the mortgage. Fishing, fishing. Spine sword. All right, a spine sword. But to keep it lightweight, I remove the spine from the rest of his body. So that was just yeah, a. It's hardly a long sword because short rounds short. <laughs> and round. You've like added an extra inch to your your. What was it? Your bread knife. Bread knife. Because he's yeah. only like an inch tall, you know. Alright. It's real high. It's still like an inch extra, and also because it's a spine, it can bend, and so I can use it like a flail. Oh, yeah. So spines yeah. are sharp, are they? No, no, no. So how are you using it as a sword? Because there's a bread knife on the end of it. Oh. Boom. Anyway, okay. I, run up, I run up to the weed smoking zombies and sexing zombies, and I just stab them up. Does this work? Uh, with what? My short round knife. <laughs> short round knife. Uh, no, it doesn't. They they uh, slap you around the faces with their penises and vaginas. Oh, god damn it. Um, <laughs> send you pictures of short round. What's it? Yeah, look at that. And then, uh, yeah, then I've killed look at uh, this one. That is him now. So I've had you see the picture. That's it's ridiculous. loading. Oh, it's, not, it's, it's not even there. Are you serious? <laughs> Ignore that. I saw a picture on Google and I was like, click, and then it's not there. Alright, anyway. <laughs> All right, so, so have they like noticed me now, I guess? Um, they tired themselves out slapping you around the face with their penises and they've uh -huh. fallen on the floor. Well, I just, because, obviously, oh, wait a That's not a sentence, Max. I can run to my picture. I'm wearing boots, and and they look like steel, steel toe caps, and so I kick them all in the face. <laughs> but they're not. They're made of the, uh, the leather of the little children you've raped. I don't care. <laughs> okay, you kick them in the face. And just as you do so... Yeah. Uh, it's it's like uh, ten minutes to whatever amount of X amount 
time amount it is till it's uh, it's uh, it's night, okay? All right, so I have ten minutes. No, no, because I took the ten minutes saying uh, amount of uh, um, um. so now right. it is night. All right, have they all died now? I guess. Yes. Because I keep, I keep one. I search them. Do they have anything in their pockets? Handily, it has a sleeping bag. Sleep. Oh, sleeping bag. I also take their lighter. Because they. You could probably just sleep in the middle of the field if you wanted to. I also take their lighter because they have like the weed and some johnnies because you never know when you're gonna need johnnies. Zombies don't use johnnies. Oh damn it! Oh, all right, well I take the lighter anyway. <laughs> you um, can take some uh, zombie penis. <laughs> yeah, all right. And use that as a johnny if you want. <laughs> I'll take a zombie penis. Okay. <laughs> what sort of freak would take a zombie penis? <laughs> have you seen the picture you sent me? <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> It makes sense now. It all makes sense. <laughs> all right. Oh, okay. Okay. So I then, uh, like, go into like the what are they what are they called the bit where you stand to watch football. I don't know. I don't watch football. Do you know the bit I'm talking about? Though it's like a shelter. Yeah. I go into that. I light a little fire out of zombies, and Shakespeare. And yeah, and Why I. Why did you keep the Shakespeare? I thought you burnt all your Shakespeare in the library. Yeah, I did, but I. Because I pushed, um, short and round, whatever his name is. <laughs> short, is it short and round? Short and round, no. <laughs> what is it's it? It's just short round. Short round. Not shorten. <laughs> you messed right. up. Because <laughs> I pushed him into the ashes. He got covered in some, like, the Shakespeare that didn't quite burn. So I just scraped off his dead body. Okay. And then I used that. <laughs> so he hasn't done that already. No. <laughs> He's just covered in ash and not quite burnt Shakespeare. Yeah. So I like fire and I have the sleep. All right. So now it's my turn. It is. So I was in Western Supermare Pier. In a staff room. Oh, I spelled that as an N. At least. That's wrong. In a staff room. Yep. With. Uh, you have. You have a friend, who currently is unnamed. unnamed you have. Friend. I shall call him Unnamed Friend. Unnamed Friend? Yep. He may, he may receive a name soon, though. Oh. Okay. He may. Alright, uh, and, um... You have... Is his name... Brian Blessed! No, Brian Blessed is a zombie. Okay. He was the first to go. Why? So, very sadly. Did Hildegard get him? His wife? <laughs> Probably. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, I have 49 pennies, 25 assorted stationeries, and, and a rather right. comfy chair. Alright. So, um, you're sitting there, and you wake up, and the bloke there, he's like, on the floor, and he's like, running around in circles going, <laughs> That's what woke you. It's about 3 o'clock in the morning, and the sun's only just risen. So he, is he like a, a double up alarm clock? <laughs> yeah, basically. Does he just lie on the floor and go <laughs> when he needs when I need to wake up? Yep. Yeah. Oh. Okay. Uh, what what what? How do you respond to this? Him going? <laughs> I say thanks, unnamed friend. <laughs> uh, good morning. Sorry if I woke you. That that is his accent. Um. It sounds a lot like you, but just going, Good morning! Ah, good morning! <laughs> this is my daily exercise routine. Sorry if I awoke you. And, um, if, do you have any food? I'm rather hungry. No, because I ate his last food, didn't I? It was that crusty bit on the end of bread. <laughs> that you were all like, Oh, you feed it to chickens? And I was like, I don't have chickens. You were like, Oh, uh, I, I remember this now. I, I, so, you're like, what are you going to do? You're, you're both really hungry and really thirsty. Okay, what? well, I didn't actually kill the zombies outside, did I? No, they're all still out there. I don't think I've actually left the pier yet. You haven't, no, you haven't even left the staff room. <laughs> Fair enough. Um, all right, well, I, oh, how many were out there? Hang on, headphones There's falling off. Headphones. There's rather a They're lot. They're back on. All right, go. There's 
a couple of them. There's the Queen, Brian Blessed, and 20 other assorted zombies. And that's just in this one amusement arcade. Is there any, any other famous people I would know? Not that I know of. Famous uh, zombie people? Alright, um... Well, everyone knows that blind Brian Blessed likes jam sandwiches. He does. He, he very much likes jam sandwiches. I kept it... one in nature's pocket. <laughs> <laughs> I threw it out the door, and it it penetrates the queen in a way that I would not like to describe. So you've now penetrated the queen with a jam sandwich. <laughs> yes, yes, and. <laughs> Brian Blessed goes up to her and goes, Brian Blessed! <laughs> Brian Blessed! Yeah. Getting all these uh, juices of jam sandwiches and other zombie... Juices. Vagina juices, yeah. Yeah. Carry on. Alright, so... That, so, uh... Brian, uh... What this has done is, this has angered all of the rest of the zombies. Because they have been kept calm by Brian Blessed's beautiful singing and the Queen giving her a little wave. They have now gotten very, very angry. Okay. So is, is Brian Blessed just there taking uh, the Queen out for dinner? A nice, no, a no, nice they, fishy dinner. They just both happened to be there at the time. Oh. Were they zombies? Yeah. Oh, good, good. I wouldn't want to kill Brian Blessed. No. Or been... the queen. I was going to yeah. say that. So Good. I've got 20 angered zombies. Yeah. And they all start running. <laughs> and they're flailing their arms around and running really quickly at you. Okay. Well, I'm in this saffron with a sturdy oak door. Suddenly, the, your unnamed friend runs out at them, flailing his fists. <laughs> what does he do? He also, as he's running, he walks into the door, removes it off its hinges. Yeah, what, what, does he die? No, he's just running now, flailing his fists. Is he fending them off? No, no. They, they, they just, as he walks towards them, they just form a ball around him and just let him run around them. Okay. So, so he's actually having no effect on the positive or the negative, apart from there's a small circle around him of no zombies. Okay, well, I get my 20, well, I got 25 assorted stationaries. I get 20 of these assorted, assorted stationaries and throw them in such a way that all 20 of them, one, yeah. one of each lands in each zombie's ocular cavity. So oh. they're all dead, basically. Because right. that's just the way I roll. Fair enough. So what's happened to my unnamed friend? He, he's still running around flailing his fist. He closed his eyes a long time ago, and so he doesn't actually know what's going on. Okay, well I... I shout at him a various number of taunts, and then I say, your mother was a hamster, and your father started of elderberries. Alright. What's he doing? He, he, he stops flailing around. He goes, alright, um, what, what are we going to do? I'm still really hungry. Um, well, we smash Brian Blessed and the Queen's faces off, Ooh. and then we take the jam sandwiches back. <laughs> All right. We eat them. All right, is it? You only have one jam sandwich. Are you can like split it between you. And it's only uh, one. That's it's only done. like that's already only... been done by Brian Brian Blessed. All right. So it's what do you mean it's already been done? With his big razor sharp beard. It's already been split in half. But the only thing was, it's like those little tiny triangle sandwiches that are no bigger than my thumb. That you stop when you're like three. I still and have so, them now. I do. Yeah. I'm talking about the proper tiny triangles. Alright. Well, um, we, we, yep. we all have an even number of them then. Right, so you both have half of those. and The, the noise of you eating, because your friend he has really bad manners, and so he keeps his mouth open while he eats his... So basically you... No, I, no, I always close my mouth when I'm eating this. George who leaves it open. Right, anyway, this attracts about 200 more zombies to your area. Um, knowing, of this, knowing of this, he picks you up, puts you on his back, and runs to the very end of the pier, shouting, Hi-ho, Silver! Where were the zombies coming from? Uh, all of the other amusement arcades. 
There's only one amusement arcade on the pier. No, there's not. There's loads. There's one. There's one big room with lots of amusement things in it. All right. Yeah, but then there's all the other ones along the beach. All right. So he's he's got me on his back and he's running towards this big group of angry amusement. They probably yeah. they probably just lost a lot on those cheating claw games. <laughs> yeah. They wanted um, to win that. Uh, the uh, clown. clown frown. They wanted to win clown frown. Ah, uh, not clown frown. I, can't, I completely can't remember what I was going to say. All right, right. what's he do? What's he do? You run towards him, but suddenly the zombies. They angry birds. That's it. Right. I lost an angry bird thing on the claw. Suddenly, one of the zombies grabs him by the arm and bites one of his fingers. So. But he's still alright, he just grabs his arm and rips it out of his own socket. Because he's crazy. He's a crazy mofo. <laughs> yeah. Alright, what are you going to do now? You're on his back, you're in the middle of this crowd of zombies. There's one arm. Yeah, and your friend is now only has one arm. Why couldn't I take the Brian Blessed face? What do you mean? Would I be able to run back and take his face? You could, but there's like 25 zombies right behind you. I, I don't care. I want his face. <laughs> alright. I've right. got a rather comfy chair, okay? All I right. plonk that down in the middle of the street, and all the zombies say, Ooh, a rather comfy chair. Ooh, a comfy chair. And they're all fighting Ooh. each other to try and get on this comfy chair. Alright, this kills 75 of the zombies, and then the rest of them have, like, <laughs> The arse... rest of them are just, like, sat on each other <laughs> on the chair. The rest of them have arse tumours, and so they don't really want to sit down. Okay. Well, they, they... During that time, I managed to like start on my way back to Brian Blessy's face. So I, I, right. I take his face, and um, I, I, I might want the Queen's face. I'll take the Queen's face as well. What happened to my friend? He's still out there. He's just he's, he's on the floor, screaming in pain. I also take her arm then. All right, you take the Queen's arm. The Queen's arm. I don't want Brian Blessy's arm. Why would you want Brian Blessy's arm? I put Brian Blessed's face onto my face, and I look, you know, I look exactly like Brian Blessed, because I've got his face, remember? I took oh, yeah, his face yeah. off, like in the film. Yeah. Face off. Face off. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. 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 And I run back right. to my friend and put the Queen's face on his face. Alright, so um, you're now Brian Blessed and the Queen. Okay, do the zombies, like... Do the zombies think we're zombies now? Because uh, he's only got one arm, remember? Yeah, he's he's still on the floor screaming in pain, and zombies don't scream in pain, so he's kind of giving the game away. Oh. Uh, I don't know what to do. Um... Well, what are you going to do? you got to help him somehow. Okay, well, I pick him up with one of my, my little fingers, because I've, I've got so much muscle. Why would you want that arm? Look at the image. Why wouldn't you want those arms? What arms? They are mad. They, um, look at the image I just sent you. <laughs> Why wouldn't you want those arms? Because I've got his face instead. <laughs> I put I put this guy on my Brian Blessed head. All right. <laughs> and I run into the nearest toilet. All right. Yeah. And I use a mixture of spittle, mud, and hobos. To glue the queen's arm to his torso. All right. Uh, this has made him slightly zombified. Why? Because it's a zombie arm. Oh. oh, yeah. And so every once in a while he will act like a zombie. Okay. Well, is he kind of like slightly immune to it? So you know, he's still no, he's, still he's still human, but he'll occasionally go zombie. Yeah. Oh. It's like out of the blue. Oh, fair enough. Um. Well, I tie him down with toilet roll. Ooh, yeah. And I sleep on his buttock. On his buttock? <laughs> yeah, I rest my head against his buttock and go to sleep. Okay. Uh, that's it. Okay. That's like. Ladies and. But Max, Max, I, Max, Max, I'm, I'm trying to talk. Max, Max. <laughs> yeah, Max, I... stop interrupt. Max, stop interrupting. <laughs> <laughs> go on. Okay. I was going to go, ladies and gentlemen, this has been Zarping episode 2. Uh, tell your friends, tell your parents, yeah. 
Hey. It has been a pleasure creating this for you. Pleasureful. Raw. Oh, that was nice. All right, Goodbye. Goodbye. Brian Blessed. <laughs> See you next time on Zarping. <laughs> ah, my spleen!